For this problem, we notice that there's no coefficient in front of the r squared term. So that's going to mean that we can factor it into two binomials that both begin with an r. So we can assume that. Now, we're going to figure out what the sign needs to be in the middle of the binomial. By that minus sign that I just signified, it's going to have to be r plus something and r minus something. Now to figure out what those two numbers need to be. So we need to look at the factors of 24 and see which numbers have a difference of 5. And that's what I'm writing out. Which numbers have a difference of 5? And that's going to be 8 and 3. So there's two options. There's either going to be r plus 8 and r minus 3, or there's going to be r plus 3 and r minus 8. But that's why you want to look at that sign. That plus sign there means that the uh, sign of the bigger number has to have that same sign. So we're going to choose r plus 8 and r minus 3. And that's going to be the answer.